Are you wondering what Big Fork, Montana is like? In this video, we'll give you a full tour of Big Fork. We'll show you the schools. We'll show you the different housing developments, golf course, and everything else about Big Fork. So Big Fork is located on the northeast corner of Flathead Lake and there's all kinds of things to do around town. It has the Swan River coming in right through town and great restaurants, great downtown. Let's go take a look. So we'll start out here on Highway 35 coming into Big Fork. This is actually, we're heading south. Uh, if you came from Kalispell, this is the road you'd take to get here. And on the left up here, this is a new subdivision called Bear Hollow. And there's some really nice houses that they've put in there. And right in here, this is known as Icebox Canyon. It's just this little area between two mountains or rock formations. So kind of a nice little spot in Big Fork. And then as you get into here, this is where all your businesses, uh, there's some restaurants here, the big grocery stores here on the left, uh, a couple of banks, there's a Dairy Queen. Um, and then as we're approaching here, this is one of the best views you're going to get. You come up to the stoplight here and you're looking all the way down the length of Flathead Lake. So it's just a great spot. And Big Fork is just has beauty all over the place. Like I said earlier, we're crossing the bridge right here. This is where the Swan River dumps into Flathead Lake. And if you turn left uh, right there, you go into downtown. And Highway 35 continues all the way down the east side of Flathead Lake and reconnects with Highway 93 down in Polson. So let's circle back and go to where that stoplight was that I said if you turn left, you go into downtown. That's the road we're on right now. And off to the right here is, it's called Marina K. It's a big resort and it sits right on the bay that I'll show you in a minute. There's a, there's a big bay that sits right behind the whole downtown area. Um, and then on the left-hand side here is the schools. You have the elementary, middle, and high school are all right above us on the left here. And I will show those a little later as well. But down to the right, you can kind of see the bay. I'll get a better picture from the other side of the bay here in a minute, but right here you're coming into the downtown area and the little downtown area of Big Fork is awesome it's one of the coolest little towns in the valley here there's a lot of art galleries and restaurants and bars right here on the left is the Big Fork Inn great place to eat um, and then we're going to turn right unfortunately there's some construction going on right now in downtown uh, they're putting in some new sewer lines, so I had to kind of go around a couple barriers to show everything. But this is the main street through downtown Big Fork, and they have a great 4th of July parade that goes down here every year. Uh, it's probably the biggest parade in the valley. And the other thing that's really cool about Big Fork is in the at Christmas time, they decorate all these buildings, and the lights are just incredible and it's just a great place to see and so if you're ever here over the holidays you definitely need to come down to Big Fork and check it out and like I said they're doing a bunch of construction normally here we would turn left and you go down across the Big Fork bridge but I'm going to go around here and show you the bridge from the other side since I can't drive there uh, that's the little bridge right there it's a one-lane bridge been there forever and that's the Swan River coming in underneath it. Right now I'm standing at the Big Fork Harbor condominiums uh, that sit right on the river and the bay and a little further down I'll go here. Here's the view of the bay looking back at the back side of the downtown buildings right there and then across here right over there to the left that's Marina K. You can park your boat there in the summer and hang out at the Tiki Bar that's right on the water. One of the other great things about Big Fork is just a block on the other side of Main Street is these nature trails that follow the Swan River that I showed you that the bridge goes over. And the cool thing about this river is this first mile of it that comes down into Big Fork is pretty uh, big rapids and it's known as the Wild Mile. And every year at the beginning of summer they have a big kayaking festival here. And people come down and hang out along the banks and watch these guys in their kayaks. And uh, another great event you can take in if you're in Big Fork. 
So let's take a look at the schools in Big Fork. This is the Big Fork High School. Angie, my wife, actually is a proud graduate of this school. And they are located right, like I showed you earlier, above uh, downtown. And so you have the high school here, and then right across the parking lot, you have the middle school that you're looking at now and the elementary school. So you have those all in one area, and they're just like I said, a block up from the uh, downtown area. And one of the funny things that I always have gotten a kick out of about this Big Fork High School is the football field is located right up above the schools I just showed you. And I I would wager there's not a more beautiful spot anywhere in the country for a football field. And I've always wondered, as you can see here, it's just a spectacular overlooked Slathead Lake. And I've always wondered why some farmer outside of town hasn't offered to build a dome stadium if he could have this piece of property because this is just a great spot. Great spot to watch a game. It's just in a perfect area. You can see the Swan Mountains out in the distance and also turn around and see all the way down Flathead Lake. And there is one other school. It's east of town on Highway 83, about three miles out of town, right past the Echo Lake Cafe, which is a great place to eat. Uh, this is the Swan River School. It's kindergarten through eighth grade, and it's a rural school, just like I said, just outside of Big Fork. As far as recreation goes around Big Fork, just south of town on Highway 35 is uh, Wayfarer State Park, and this park is free to use if you're a resident. They have a day use fee if you're not, uh, but it's full of trails. You can hike all around here. It's, it sits right above Flathead Lake and actually goes down to the lake. Um, but there's trails all over and they, they have camping down below. And they also have a, you know these little areas right along the water to sit and check out. And it's just a very nice place to be. So one of the newest things in Big Fork, this is called the Jewel Basin Center. And it's a pickleball club. It's actually called Two Rivers Pickleball Club, but they have four indoor courts, six outdoor courts, and there's even locker rooms, showers, and a bar in there. And they've already had some big tournaments, and this has been a very popular addition to Big Fork. So the thing that really put Big Fork on the map was when they built Eagle Bend Golf Club. And it was built, uh, the original 18 was built in 1988. And then in 1995, they added nine holes that was designed by Jack Nicholas Jr. And they've incorporated that Nicholas nine into the, the main 18. And then across the road on the right-hand side is called the Lake Nine because it backs right up to Flathead Lake. But if you look to your left here, you'll notice some new construction. That's actually the clubhouse that's being rebuilt. It burned down a couple years ago. And they're just getting ready to uh, finish it up. It's supposed to be done this winter. So they will have a brand new clubhouse. And now we're passing the driving range, which is right here on the left. It's a huge practice area uh, that they've developed. That used to be a couple of holes from the Lake Nine, but now it is a giant practice area. So like other country clubs and golf courses around the valley, Eagle Bend is made up of a whole bunch of smaller neighborhoods. You have this one called Lake Point. It's the only gated one at Eagle Bend. And then there's other uh, complexes around the golf course that, you know, this one we're coming into is called Harbor Village. And there's some other areas around different parts of the course. There's areas at the new Nicholas side. Uh, those are newer homes. Um, but these, this area here in Harbor Village has single-family homes, townhouses, condos, pretty much everything. One thing I didn't tell you, the Flathead River also comes into Big Fork, and it comes in down here uh, right along Eagle Bend. And the reason this is called Harbor Village is there's actually a little boat harbor here that's on the Flathead River, and it you can get out into Flathead Lake from here or head up the river back into the valley. So this is the Eagle Bend Harbor right here. But as far as prices go in Eagle Bend, uh, over the past year, there were 53 homes sold in here. The cheapest one was 369000 It was a two-bedroom, two-bath, 2,125-square-foot townhouse. And it went all the way up to 
1525000 for a four-bedroom, four-bath, 3,400 square foot house that we just saw in that Lake Point gated neighborhood that I just showed you. The other part of town that we're going to look at, this is the original part of town. This is kind of up behind the high school, and these are the oldest homes in Big Fork, are right in this area. And a lot of, a lot of these, um, they rarely come up for sale. So over the past year, there was only four homes that sold in this part of Big Fork, and the cheapest one sold for two hundred and twenty-seven five for a three-bedroom, two-bath, one thousand seventy-eight uh, foot house, and it went all the way up to five hundred and ten thousand for. It was actually two small houses. They totaled nineteen hundred square feet. Um, they were used as a rental. Uh, they were each two bedroom, one bath homes. And like I said, that one sold for 510. Uh, this area here is right off of that original part I just showed you. This is called Stage Ridge. And these homes are newer within the past 10 or 15 years. Um, there's obviously some newer homes in here as well. Um, and they're, this section of town obviously was added on after the original part we just went through. So if you head straight east out of Big Fork on Highway 209, you'll be headed down towards Highway 83, uh, which is the Swan Highway. And you can see, you just saw it on the left, there's the Swan River that most of uh, this road follows. And this is the little town. This is what I like to call the suburb of Big Fork. This is Ferndale. And it's just a group of homes. A lot of them are along the river. Um, very nice area. There's, you know, they have a little fire hall out here, um, but this is this is the way you go if you're going headed down the, the Swan Highway, and it's a pretty big area that I'm going to cover for Ferndale as far as housing goes. So over the past year, there were 45 homes sold, and the cheapest one was 168 thousand for a one bedroom, one bath, 1600 square foot house on 0.68 acres. And the most expensive was four million eight hundred fifty thousand for a four bedroom, five bathroom, forty eight hundred square foot house that was right along, you know, where the Swan River comes out of Swan Lake. And beautiful area. There's a big resort down there and this log cabin that sold for four million was part of that. But the Swan River is kind of a fun little river you can do floats on in the summer. Um, the Like I said, the last mile that's known as the wild mile that goes into Big Fork, you want to stay away from that unless you're an experienced kayaker. Uh, but most of the river is very calm coming out of Swan Lake, and it's quite a long way from Swan Lake back to where the, um, the river gets rough there. There's a little dam that you'd have to go over before you hit the bad part, so not, not to worry. Um, but Ferndale's a, a cool little town. All they have is, like I said, there's a fire hall there. And then coming up here on the left, I like to call this the Ferndale Mall. But this is the only store that's in town. It's a little gas station and convenience store right here. And then shortly after this, we'll go over the Swan River. And then you come up to the T up here and this would be the T is highway 83 but now you're looking down the Swan River there um, if you turn right up here at the T you will go down to Swan Lake Seeley Lake and eventually out to Missoula if that's where you want to go uh, and if you turn left you head back uh, it loops loops you back around and takes you back into the Flathead Valley one other thing I wanted to show you here in Ferndale is Ferndale actually has an airport. And this is what I call the Ferndale International Airport. <laughs> it's a grass runway, so obviously just small planes fly in and out of here. But there's a couple of subdivisions that allow you to have a little hangar right on the airport. So if you have a small plane, kind of a cool place to fly into. You're obviously very close to Big Fork. And... You can get in and out of here very easy. Again, it's an uncontrolled airport. Um, so yeah, it's a it's 
one of the things that a lot of people don't know about Ferndale, but the the river is all over the place throughout Ferndale and a lot of great properties along the river. So if you have any interest in homes over here or land uh, in this part of the Flathead Valley, we'd be happy to help you and give us a call or email and we'll tell you what's currently available. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.